At this point, there are very few of us in the world that can say that we don't know anyone with cancer. A lot of us have lost people because of it, and it's very difficult, both for the person experiencing that disease, right, mentally, emotionally, physically, probably in ways that I personally don't even know because I have not gone through that. But I can tell you what it's like for someone on the outside. You feel powerless and you want to help and there seemingly is no way to do so. But this video is actually my attempt to help my mom who has uterine cancer and I'm not near her to be able to help her. So this is my attempt to help her and also to help you if you're the one struggling with cancer or if you are someone who knows someone who's struggling with cancer, send them this video and this can really help. Now today I'm going to show you how to use MOXA to increase your circulation, moderate or decrease any extra inflammation and it will increase the body's natural desire to heal itself in these areas. So the moxa that I will be using, I will leave a link down in the description so that you can order them on Amazon. I am not affiliated with them, but this is the stuff that I use at my office on my patients regularly. I use it on myself and, and I hope this helps. Welcome to Dialectic Healing, where we discuss a fusion of physical and mental therapies so that you can obtain and maintain your healthiest self. All right, now the points that I'm gonna be showing you first are specifically for if you are experiencing cancer or difficulties down in your lower abdomen region, right? And in the case for my mom, she has uterine cancer and they have done a full hysterectomy at this point, but have found a little bit near her cervix. So she is now going through radiation. Now what that means is that they're attempting to kill off the cancer cells, right? That's obviously their focus. However, in the process of doing radiation, they'll kill off healthy cells. So my attempt in showing you how to use MOXA is to try and build some of that back while it's essentially being destroyed and manage some of the unfortunate symptoms that come with that, like urgency, frequency of urination, a feeling that you have a UTI, diarrhea, there's like a numerous amounts of issues that can go on with this. So there are three points that I'm gonna show you, but before I get into those three points, let's make sure you've got the right setup. So you've got your moxa, Make sure you've got an ashtray or some kind of area where you can put these in once they're done because they'll still be warm so you don't want to burn yourself or your surface. And a lighter. There's really no way to go wrong with using moxa other than burning yourself. Your fingers or the location that you're putting them on. Now, as you can see, these guys actually have their own little stands so they won't actually burn your skin because they'll burn down to this little piece here. But if it feels like it's too hot, you have to pull it off at that point, right? Heat is good, burning is bad. Now let me explain what Moxa is. Inside here, you can see there's a nice little amount of what looks like a yellow mush. It's actually an herb called mugwort. And the Chinese use it because it has really incredible properties. So unlike other herbs, this particular herb burns black and creates a carbon emission, similar to infrared. So it's not just working on the surface, there's actually a very deep penetration into your skin. So the first three points I'm going to show you are specifically directed at this area because that's the area that's having the radiation exposure. Now how you'll find the first point is from your belly button to your pubic bone. 
go halfway in between and then just a touch below. That's Ren 4. So just lateral to that, stomach 28, right about where the abdominal muscles kind of end. Nice and easy. Now you can do this standing up like I am, or you can do this lying down. Ideally, what you want to do is do all three of these points three times over, every morning and every night. All three of these points are going to help manage all of the symptoms that you're experiencing between the digestive, the urinary, the pain, the fatigue. All of it will be managed with these three points. All right, so the next point that I'm gonna show you is actually more of an overall immune system booster. I kind of discussed this in the past in some of my other videos, but this one is more for an immune system boost because let's face it, that is one of the most difficult things to try and help someone who is suffering with cancer is inevitably with the cancer and with the treatment that they're going through their immune system is compromised. The first and the one and only point, there's one point that I'm gonna show you. So again, make sure you've got your setup. So you've got your moxa, you've got your little ashtray, and you've got your lighter. All right, now this point is called stomach 36. So the easy way to find it is to just follow your shin bone or your tibia all the way up until you kinda hit that notch that's there and then just like one finger over to it. You'll be right on the tibialis, the anterior muscle, and it'll kind of feel like you know, it sinks in a little bit. There's like space there for it. And that is your spot. The important thing with this is the Chinese recommend that you do this nine times a day. So this will be like you sit down and just do nine of these in a row. Right, so I mean, depending on how long you plan on doing this, my mom said her treatment is gonna be like five to six weeks of radiation. So, you know, there's a hundred of these little guys that come in this box. So maybe you order two of them so that you can do localized and then add stomach 36 to your daily regimen as well. And you can do this all at the same time, right? I mean, you can do your stomach points and you can do stomach 36. And remember, heat is good, burning is bad. I have a lot of patients at my clinic that seem to feel like they there's this mentality of no pain, no gain, right? There is no benefit to burning yourself, okay? It's more about the consistency versus the intensity, okay? So if you do this every single day, nine of these, nine of these little guys on this spot, and you can do it bilaterally, please do. So you'll do 18 every day for a minimum of two weeks. And that's it. Between local and then adding stomach 36, you can help decrease some of the unfortunate symptoms that come along with chemo, radiation, and the other things. And you can boost your immune system so that your body can stay vital and heal itself and manage what's going, what's happening to it. The only thing I would suggest is not doing anything, like if you have thyroid cancer, not doing anything around the neck and definitely not the face. The skin is just far too sensitive to do moxa anywhere kind of here to here. So avoid these upper areas, but I mean, there's really no way nowhere on the body that I would avoid beyond these areas. In the future, I probably will be doing more videos. Leave a comment down below if there are areas that you'd like me to cover more in the future. If you know someone that is going through cancer treatment or you yourself are going through cancer treatment and you are not taking advantage of getting acupuncture regularly, I would highly recommend it as a complementary medicine to help you manage some of the other symptoms, the fatigue, the lack of appetite, headaches. There are so many symptoms that people struggle with that acupuncture can really help manage. 
And that's all I have for you today. Leave me a comment down below if this was helpful, if this is something that could benefit somebody else, please share it. And in the meantime, be well.